Okay, so question number 16, um, that was the 4x minus 9 over x minus 4, as x approaches 4, is undefined. But what if I just looked from the left and from the right? What happens? So can I do one-sided limits? And the answer to that, obviously, is yes, or else I wouldn't be doing it here. But um, we're going to go in. I think I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'm going to go into uh, y, oops, y is equal to, I'm going to use the arrow and clear button just to get rid of some of these because I don't need them anymore. Clear. I, I can see that the 4x minus 9 over x minus 4 uh, I'm using it twice, so I might as well get it in here. Uh, set a parentheses for the numerator, 4x minus 9 divided by a set of parentheses for the denominator, x minus 4, x minus 4 and parenthesis, enter. Now, I'm going to go to the home screen, and I'm going to ask it just to show you. Um, I'm going to ask it to take the limit, so that's in F3, um, number 3, of Y1 of X, because that's where I just put the function, comma, X, comma, um, what were we finding it at four before like that equals oh undefined look it's exactly the same problem so that should happen but how do i then say okay i want to find it from the left and from the right the way we do that is just to add a, a positive and a negative one at the end of our vernacular so like here i already have the last active code or the last active thing i'm going to use the arrow to the right and then I'm going to delete the last parentheses. And because if I want to find it from the left, I'm going to put comma, negative 1. Negative 1. End parenthesis, enter. And look, then it, it tells me I'm taking the limit as x approaches 4, but from the left. And that is negative infinity. It's really hard to see. Maybe I'll make it a little. Oh, whoops. Don't do that make it bigger so it gives me a little infinity symbol there like that okay and the way you do it from the from the left or from the positive side instead of having negative one on the end after the four you you have positive one so in other words if you add another you could also have positive and negative two it doesn't really matter it just gives you direction there um where did i Put my pen <laughs> that's the next question i'm just gonna go found it there we go so to write down the vernacular for this let's make sure i find it you are going to take the limit um, of the function you want and we call this y1 of x from f from x to 4 or as x approaches 4 but negative 1 gives from which direction so negative 1 from left positive 1 from right like that so then we're going to go in grab the same one and by the way from negative from from the negative side so from the left it's going to be negative infinity and from the right let's see i'm going to delete the previous one and put positive one if you put nothing it does it from both sides and then enter and look to make it a little bit bigger, you have a little plus up there and it's approaching infinity. So, which makes sense to me. Look, from the left, it was negative infinity. From the right, it's positive infinity. And before in question number 16, it was um, asking for which one it was or what the limit was. And it said it was undefined or for us, we call it does not exist or DNE, right? So therefore, 
That makes sense because they're going opposite directions. And besides that, talking about vertical asymptotes, we know that there is a vertical asymptote when this happens, when you approach some value from the left and from the right and it approaches either positive or negative infinity, the only way that that's gonna happen is if there is a vertical asymptote. So I forgot to write this down. So this was negative infinity and this one was positive infinity. All right. So now you try the last two on your own. I'm just going to pause the video just as a little aside to find the square root symbol. It's down here, over here. So for doing 19, that's where you would find the square root symbol. So I'll give you a chance to pause. And then I'll put the answers to the last two. So looking at number uh, 19, as you can see, it's saying, oh, hang on a minute. I'm trying to find a limit of something that would not exist. So the function doesn't exist here. What does that look like in the graphing calculator? Well, it's saying non-real results. So let's go and examine it for a minute. If I substitute it in negative two into here, I'm trying to take the square root of something that's negative. That's not a function that's graphable and we're doing limits um, has to be on a graph. It's, it's going to approach something on the graph. This is not, there's no graph there. So this makes no sense. So in this case, it's a D and E as well, or undefined or non-real results. Any of those I would accept. Then I'm going to pause, I'm going to pause the, the video right now and then try number 20 and see if we agree. So for number 20, I chose to uh, put it in Y1. there because there's so much I just want to make sure it was entered correctly before I try doing anything and then here's my vernacular so it's y1 of x comma I'm taking the limit for as x approaches 5 but from the negative size and here just don't write the minus don't forget to use the negative button down here to make the number negative negative. and that is the last one negative infinity all right so now you've learned a little bit about the, the TI-89.